my inspiration for this particular piece had a lot to do with my early concepts of uh, drawing what I called a sense of freedom. In my studies in college, in my art classes, when we were studying about Michelangelo and some of the great Renaissance artists, particularly the artists that painted these great paintings in these great religious halls, one that stands out is the creation by Michelangelo where these images were like floating in midair and the glory of their power seems to come out of the pictures themselves. I was always fascinated by things that fly, birds, butterflies, feathers, I was fascinated by the intricate design of feathers and it was nothing for me to just to take a, a feather that haphazardly fell from a, from a bird and I find a feather and I, was, I collected feathers. So as my career progressed, a lot of the, the imagery involved feathers. I started doing these strange images of flying beings. They didn't happen to be angels, per se, but they were just sort of like organic. They kind of just flew into each other and these different forms organically created these images of flying beings. These people that had the ability to fly by way of wings. And then it kind of morphed into drawing angels. call this one Sweet Chariot, an angel of life that could be taking souls to, to heaven and the hopes of a better life, the hopes of, uh, of rewards for work well done and to be hosted off into this beautiful angel with this beautiful chariot is something that inspired me. The sweet chariot coming forth to carry me home. A joy that you're going to a better place. The sweet chariot will take you home away from all this hate and misery and the suffering. <laughs> 